All right, hey guys, uh, really quick, I'm just gonna talk to you guys about crosshair movement, how you should be moving around through the maps, like where you should be placing your crosshair, what to be thinking about, and I'm gonna give you kind of some examples on Dust 2. So pretty much basically when you're moving around a map with a crosshair, what you wanna do is you wanna position yourself so when you move into a new like area, like for instance, if we're going into long, if we're coming out long, you want to pretty much be picking up everything with your crosshair as you move. Like, if you're coming to these doors, like, this is the only place the enemies are going to be. They're only going to be peeking up in front of you. So when you come out, you want to continue to move your crosshair around just like that. So then you pick up anyone that's right there. And if he's there, you're going to have the, you're just going to come around and shoot him. Instead of coming around, you know, and like looking like this, trying to pe like pre-aim peek it. And then when you get to the corner, you're just coming around just like that. Just, bam. And you can get the guy in the corner then, every time. Might have to excuse me, I'm using a new mouse. And I'm not exactly sure what I talked about when I originally did these two videos, which I'm now making one, but Casey told me today they didn't go through, so I had to uh, redo them. But anyways, uh, yeah, just when you're moving around through the map, you want to try to pick up everything with your crosshair. That way, like, the enemies kind of move into your crosshair for you. It works really well in 1.6, and it actually works well in Source 2, despite Interp, if you believe so. And you're just, that's why you're picking up everything. You're just not going to be surprised if you came around here and like we're only looking at this corner and there's a guy right there you're screwed and like same thing when you come out if you're coming out and you're going to be looking at pit you want to be able to just come out and look at the headshot spot you can come out like this too i guess you could just come out wide behind this door and then if you're going to try to look around for this guy you can just come up and just move your crosshair like that and he's going to be right there in your crosshair now when you come back around to look at the long corner you're picking up you're picking up all this empty space while you move and that way the enemy is going to be in your crosshair. If, for example, like... I don't know why I turned SVG to that, but... Like, if you're at that big box over there, and the CT's right here, and he's trying to get across the pit or something, you know? If you come out, and you're only expecting him at this corner, and he's already out over here, and you're looking like this, you're gonna have to make a quick movement like that then, if you had already been pre-aiming that corner. But if you're post it on pit because you like you think there's a guy in there but it turns out the guy's actually running to pit like i said and you come out like this you're going to be able to get a good shot on him because he's going to be moving right into your crosshair and when you see him you're going to be able to pick up the easy kill and it's it's the same thing you can do that all around the map in all different spots just like on nuke i think i showed you that but i mean coming up into a you know you're looking for people in the site and then you come down here for elevator you clear down here for that spawn corner in case there's a guy there you clear that peak and the dark peak and the uh, far peak in middle, and then you come here and you clear if there's a guy there, and then right there, right there. It's just constant clearing and moving. And then when you get across here, I mean, once you have cleared this, you can peek headshot box from here, and then you can get right here and peek it again, peek it. And then since you're covered here, you can come right here and peek this in case there's a guy quad. And then you can again move your crosshair over in case a guy's running over from cat. You can just get up and peek that. I mean, if you know he's headshot blocks, I mean, don't just try to come up and be like, ah, just, you know, you can just come up and pre-fire. I mean, you're obviously going to get a firefight like that, but I'm saying if you're just going around clearing, you can do that. And I mean, realistically, if you're a CT too, which I have to give myself an M4 to give you the impression <laughs> I'm a CT. I mean, if you're playing a spot on cat and you know they're coming up cat, I mean, chances are they're going to be right there, and then if they're not right there, they're going to be right here, unless they're moving, and if they're moving, you're going to pick them up as long as you bring your whole crosshair around and you know where to look. I mean, think about it, if you flash cat, think how many times you've been in this situation, like a lot of times when you're a CT and you're trying to figure out where the T's are, think about what you do, because teams don't do that much different stuff. So say you're back here, you know, and you flash cat, and you know they're here and you're coming around to peek it, think about where they're going to be at. Chances are they're not going to be like right there unless they're on that box. I mean like they're physically not going to be standing like right here. They're going to be right around here and they're going to be tucked into this wall blind as hell. And just one little thing I'm going to show you guys because of the new update. You can just, well you can't flash like that but I mean there's no skybox there now so you can low flash over cat like this. Which will pop right about here and blind every person on cat. Which makes taking cat 90% harder. You gotta throw it right. <laughs> I don't know why I can't throw it. But, again, it's that same concept. You just gotta be ready to expect them where they are. And, like, when I always come around this corner, I mean, if I don't see somebody right here when I'm peeking this, you know, the next thing I peek 
is I do this peek as one kind of, I look for a guy right there, in case his head's peeking up, and right there, and then if I see nothing there, it's just come around the corner and get the free kill, because that's the only place they're going to be, that's the only place they're going to be unless they're hiding all the way back here. But as you move throughout a map, like especially when you're retaking a site as a CT, if you're coming into B, you know, you're going for the retake, think about where they're going to be post one. You just have to use your head. I mean, there's probably going to be a guy back plat, maybe, if there's nobody in tunnels. One of the most common spots is big box. Come in, look at tunnels, look at closet, and now your back's close to this, but you should be having, you should have a teammate coming in with you or in through window. If he's coming in through window, think about it, you got to look here, jump in, kill the guy back site. So they got big box, peek the guy tunnel. I mean, ex pretty much expect them where you would be. If you were in their situation, where would you be? I mean, the most common post plan on this site is one back site, one big box, one tunnel. That's how most teams roll post plant. So the easiest way to retake this site is to throw a flash that lands in front of big box and will blind tunnel too. Come in, take a wide angle on the guy big box and site, have a guy come in through window and then come around and kill the guy tunnel and defuse or have a guy flanking tunnel too but I mean it all comes down to just how you're going to be clearing shit like I said if you're coming up cat as a terrorist you know you're gonna want to look at goose first then you're gonna look at this headshot pick then you're gonna look at the barrel pick you're gonna look at the ramp pick you're gonna look at the car pick and it's just all like one fluid motion as you're coming across the map and it just begins to get habitual I mean I don't I don't think I can break my habits where I used to I don't know if I ever used to run up cat like this or something. I don't think I ever did. I always have my crosshair where I think the enemy's gonna be. I mean, maybe a long time ago I used to run up like this or something, crosshair looking at the ground, or focused on one spot. I mean, you can't be focused on one spot unless that's the only spot they are, and you're 100% certain. You have to constantly be thinking, oh, are they ramp? Are they down at the corner? Are they car? Are they goose? You know, just stuff like that. And in the end, it's just gonna come down to I mean, are you ready? I mean, <laughs> it's not so much about reactions when you're rifling, and even opping, almost, as long as you know where to place your crosshair. I mean, if you have an op, think about where they're going to be. I mean, if you're opping the back of B tunnels, if you're opping right here, where are they going to be? Think about it. If a, t if a terrorist is going to peek you, he's probably going to pick in like this. So if you're crouched right here, you want to be aiming like right around there for the person to pick and you know you'd be peeking every now and then randomly and that's just good crosshair placement knowing how to pick because then as soon as he jumps into your crosshair you can just uh, get the easy kill on him because you don't have to move it all you just have to press mouse one right, hiccups you just press mouse one as soon as he jumps in and if for some reason he jumps like across which I don't think that would work I mean you're gonna have the hang time he's in the air to shoot him like you'd be looking here and then he's in the air and you'd shoot him midair just like that I mean you just gotta expect them and I mean you can do the you can use that similar logic as a terrorist when you're clearing shit I mean you can just shoulder peek really quick make sure he's picking back there and then if he is you know jump peek him or whatever I mean that's just gonna come down to reactions pretty much as long as, if you know where his head is like you're gonna be able to get the kill probably into it but if you're coming into the site you just want to clear everything you know, just clear all the site, post up on window, if he's not window, you can get door. If you're walking into the site, the new walk speed, you can clear car, and then you clear closet. It's just all one by one by one, you just clear everything. And pretty much it makes all the difference. Because you make the game less about reactions and more about just pressing mouse one, because your crosshair is already where it needs to be. And instead of having to make a movement that could be off, I mean, if you have to flick, and you miss the flick, I mean, you're screwed. But if you know where to place your crosshair, if you know he's going to be peeking right here and he walks into it, all you have to do is shoot. But I mean, that's an easy spot to do that with. I mean, if you're opting middle, you have to be a little more aware of where they're going to be. I mean, if you're opting from right here, there's like three different places they can come. They can come right here, they can come right here, and they can come right here. So it really comes down to where do you think they're gonna go do you think they're gonna come cat you know you might want to take a wider peek then and get a better angle so they don't surprise you if you think they're coming xbox for sure you can get right here if you think they're coming door you could probably pick like this so you get a quicker shot when he comes around the corner but i mean if you're not sure at all maybe that's the best situation to just sit like this so then 
if he does come up cat, you shoot him and you're ready. If he comes Xbox, you know, you flick down. If he comes doors, that's not that hard of a shot. But, I mean, chances are they're flashing through too, so. It just comes down to will you be ready and can you apply this in all different situations? And you can. Like, probably the best spot on this map that I play occasionally. I shouldn't say I play it because now everyone knows. Not people already know. But, uh, I need number four is when I'm in B, if you play right here, Rambo used to do this in the CGS, terrorists will not see you. And you can sit here and shoot them when they come in. And it pretty much counteracts what I just told you because if you come into the site, you're not going to see me back there. You're you're right there through that box. I mean, you could pre-fire it, I guess, if you really wanted. But if you're coming into the site like this and you're trying to clear closet, once you, once you get, like, right here, look. Do you see that? That's where you're at. So as soon as you get here to clear this corner, you're dead because you can be seen by this guy. And if people are coming up right here, they can't see you really. And you'd hear them before they got there. So chances are, you'd be right here, you'd be ready for them to come in, you'd kill the guy, go look in closet, come up, and shoot the heads when they're coming to big box. It's just little things like that that you can apply to different spots on this map. And you can do the same thing at long A, and you can do this on almost any spot on any map. You can find spots where you're going to have an advantage. I mean, you know they're going to be coming outdoors, so if you just peek up and you have your crosshair ready, you're going to be able to get the quick shot. Or if they're in the doors, you know, you can just come around really quick, pre-fire, whatever. So hopefully you guys can figure out a way to take some of this information and apply it to different situations on different maps and how you do things. I mean, this isn't the 100% way you have to aim, but it's just a quick way of improving where you're looking and how you clear things. If you have any questions, feel free to post them. I hope this helps, and good luck.